Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Harold Newman Arena. My name is Brett Moser. I'm our Vice President of Development and Alumni Relations here at the University of Jamestown. On behalf of our Board of Trustees, our Alumni Association, our administration, our faculty and staff here at the university, and our students who are most important to us, thank you for coming today to a historic day in our history. We were founded in 1883, 140 years ago. Presbyterians came to Jamestown and had a vision, had a dream of an institution of higher education overlooking the James River Valley. For 140 years, we've been able to prepare students professionally, seeing them involved in co-curricular experiences, in their sports, in the choir, in campus ministry. And we've done that in a Christian environment. Today is a historic day because our past, we look back and we appreciate it. But our, our mission in our past and our mission in the present, it informs us right now, but it also, our mission, guides us and it aims us into the future. And today we're here for a very special announcement. Thank you so much for coming. A full room when we just announced the other day that we'd be having this special time together. Today we are going to be announcing the greatest gift in our school's history. But not just our school's history, it's the highest gift in private education in the state of North Dakota. And to tell us more about it, please welcome Dr. Polly Peterson. All right, thank you so much, Brett, for in some ways revealing or putting people at rest because I can't tell you how many people walked in and said, is the announcement that you're retiring? <laughs> Which is shocking because we would not have a press conference to tell you I'm retiring. I'm here to stay, you're stuck with me. As Brett said, the University of Jamestown has been building character since 1883. We are a university founded on Christian principles. Values-based education has been a part of our history for 140 years. In fact, in October, we will celebrate the origin of the University of Jamestown, whose start began before the university or before the state of North Dakota even was incorporated. Since that time, as we said, our first president, Baron Cruzy, acclaimed that we were building character and that it would be foundational to the development of wholeness in our students. We have done that with a commitment to Christian faith. During his years, we built Voorhees Chapel. In 1918, we began using Voorhees Chapel for three purposes. Number one, obviously worship. But many of you may not know that it was also used as the food service, a place for students to study, a place for students to socialize, and at one time, even a place for students to live. Over the course of time, it became a place of worship it houses some offices uh, for our, our uh, faculty in the area of religion and philosophy. And it is a place where students still have the opportunity to socialize in, in their areas of interest, that being faith. Today I can tell you that the chapel is used more than it has been in decades. On average, about 220 students attend chapel each Thursday. We have reaffirmed our commitment to faith. We also today recognize the, the value of programming around that commitment. In 2006, I, was, I had the pleasure of being a part of the development of a new program that we called Character in Leadership. Since then, over 220 students have graduated in this program with a minor who have gone on to do some amazing things in their own areas of interest, knowing that it is possible to build leadership amongst each other. Many years later, in 2015, we expanded on that tradition and we developed a program in a master's level leadership, character in leadership. Again, since then, we have continued to graduate master's level students who have gone on to do great things in the professions they love. Today, we're here to announce that we're bringing the two together. 
Our commitment to Christian faith, a commitment to values-based education, a commitment to the principles of character in leadership. We're going to do that by adding, we're going to do that first by renovating the chapel, secondly by adding on, recognizing that at one point there was the opportunity for faith and life to coexist in that space. We are going to connect our uh, Bedell Nafis with Vori's Chapel and create a space where students can gather, where they can uh, enjoy each other's company, have a cup of coffee, and talk about faith and life. And it will connect right in to the chapel. We're going to show you that, but first I want to introduce you to somebody. You probably know him. You probably know her. Jim Unruh is the chair of the board of directors. He has been with us for 33 years. 11 of those, he has been the chair. He has missed in those 33 years, three meetings, while being a corporate CEO and business leader. I think it's only fair to say that Jim is the most impressive, visionary, decisive, kind leader I have ever had the privilege to work with. During his tenure, the university has grown enrollment, we've added graduate programs, we've added doctoral programs, we've expanded our campus footprint, we have successfully completed two and a half comprehensive capital campaigns that have transformed our facilities, our programs, and the endowment while also adding campuses in Fargo and Phoenix. It is a rare individual who can challenge the status quo by inspiring visionary thinking while never losing sight of one's core mission and values. That is Jim Unruh. Jim spent his career working, as I said, as a corporate CEO, and now in his retirement, he suddenly decided it was important to him to establish a bank that would serve the underserved business community. He has done that with grace during a very difficult time, and he has opened a very successful bank while also managing Alarian Capital, a private equity and management advisory firm. The university has been extremely blessed by his leadership. And we've also been extremely blessed by the leadership of his wife, who's been by his side the entire time, supporting him, supporting UJ, and officially calling herself a Jimmy. Today it is my privilege, my unbelievable, humble privilege, to tell you that the program that we're talking about is a $30 million program. Facilities and programming coming together bringing our two core missions of character and faith into space and place. They have agreed to a $15 million donation to make this possible. So please join me as we thank them and invite them to the stage. Good afternoon. This is, uh, for me, a great day. And it's a great day shared equally in every way by Candy. She has become a more committed Jimmy than you would ever imagine. Uh, and we have both been very concerned and interested in this area of leadership and the character, that essential element in successful leadership. This is something that has never been more sorely needed than today. 
We see it every day, examples of the absence of character and leadership. So it was really an honor for us to be have, be able to have the opportunity to make this contribution which can really kick this effort off. I believe in this more than anything. It's a passion. And I'm hopeful that in this way, we can affect a lot of students in the future who can, value, who can benefit from the values that I was able to learn here at UJ. I give credit to that experience for my own success. And I can tell you these days, it's a lot more stressful to stay with what is right and wrong. If you are running a large public company and the quarter is all that matters, you have to have a strong value base. So we are just happy and overjoyed to be able to be in a position to provide this initiative with the, with the send off that we hope will be benefiting students for a long time to come. It's our pleasure, it's our honor, thank you. Jim and Candy's gift will serve as a launching point into our next phase of our comprehensive campaign. As the number was announced, 30 million and 15 million is our lead gift, and uh, Polly and I are gonna be hitting the road uh, looking for opportunities for the other 15 million. We're gonna show you uh, the fly-through of this new facility. Some of you will recognize different points in this uh, video. As we're getting it going and queued up here, just a couple of other things to mention. Uh, the program will include a doctoral level and PhD tracks uh, that we're going to offer, and that's going to really do something for us in raising our profile as an institution. The school will be named the Unruh School of Character and Leadership, and that'll be our, our first school under the banner of the University of Jamestown. So it'll be a great day uh, when we get to dedicate this facility. Our plans are, hopefully, Dustin Jensen's in here. He's going to make it happen uh, by fall of 24. And uh, we're gonna, there you are. We're gonna have a great winter next year in remodeling and renovating and construction's gonna go off without a hitch. Uh, so this will be our new facility, enjoy it, and I'll come back and give you a couple more directions and uh, send you out.
Uh, if you have additional questions today as we conclude our time, uh, Natalie McKenna is our Director of Marketing. She's going to be down here. She's going to have press packets for those of you with the media. And uh, there'll be an opportunity for pictures with Jim and Candy and President Peterson. Uh, there's some different renderings over here you can take a look at on your way out. Uh, there's coffee and water and lemonade in the back if you want to take some extended time for fellowship. I also want to recognize in the room, uh, on the programming side of this initiative, we have Dr. Liz Hunt. Would you stand? Uh, and Dr. Brenda Kaspari, would you stand? And they, these two uh, are going to be architecting and planning as we go forward in this initiative uh, for this School of Character and Leadership. And then Dr. Paul Olson is right here. If you have questions or anything you'd like to know about the trajectory of this program, starting some of the other elements that are exciting, uh, a leadership conference, leadership series, blogs, those sort of things, and podcasts, all sorts of things are in the plans uh, for this. We want you to talk and stop and talk to Dr. Hunt, Dr. Kaspari, or Dr. Olson. It is a great day to be a Jimmy, and uh, we feel that here, and we're thankful for our community of Jamestown. Thank you again, Jim and Candy. Uh, it'll be a great weekend for us. We have commencement tomorrow. Uh, just so you're aware, tonight at 5 o'clock, uh, we have a social for the Alumni Hall of Fame. Uh, at 7.30, a commencement concert here on campus. As you go, have a great day, and go Jimmies.